Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with some AP Physics uh, dynamics questions. So a lot of free body diagrams and setting them up. So let's take a look. A rope of negligible mass passes over a pulley of negligible mass attached to the ceiling as shown above. One end of the rope is held by student A of mass 70 kilograms. It was on the rest of the floor. The opposite end of the rope is held by student B of mass 60 kilograms. Use G equals 10 meters per second squared. Uh, draw and label free body diagram showing the force on student A and B. So if I look at B, he's got well, they got gravity on him. Um, we'll say 600 newtons. M times G, and I, he's got the rope holding him up. Student A also has rope pulling him up and um, weight on him of 700 newtons from gravity okay there's nothing else acting on him the ropes pulling on the student and gravity is pulling on the student both students calculate the magnitude of the force exerted by the floor oh yeah he's standing here so there's a normal force here Oops. about that Okay, um, he is at rest. Okay, so the um, his net acceleration has to be zero for A and B. If he's at rest, then he's at rest too. Okay, so let's let's set up the let's do free uh, force net force equation on student B. T minus six hundred newtons is to equal m times A, which is zero, or that's zero. So T has to equal six hundred newtons. Okay. Um, this one, his upward force, I got T. This, so this is student B. Here's student A. The net force equation. What's his net force? T plus the normal force um, minus 700 newtons has to equal zero also because he's not accelerating. So solving for N, N is equal to 700 minus T. Okay. Seven, but I know from here because the because the rope is massless, and there's no friction here, um, the tension is uniform across here. So seven hundred so the tensions are the same. Seven hundred minus six hundred is one hundred. Okay. Calculate the tension in the rope while oh okay so now student B now climbs the rope at a constant acceleration. So now he's going to start moving up at 0.25 meters per second squared. Um, as student B is accelerating, is student A pulled upward off the floor? No, wait. Calculate the tension in the rope while student B is accelerating. Okay. So now we're still doing these equations, but the acceleration is not zero for B. Right? So for B, in this part, the net force is still T minus 600, but that equals M times A, which is 60 kilograms times... Um, a is what 0 0.25 meters per second squared and that's uh, 15 newtons so T minus 600 equals 15 so T equals 615 newtons as student B is accelerating as student A pulled up the, the upward off the floor justify your answer well what's pulling him up now the tension up is 615 newtons so which is but uh, but gravity is still larger so no 615 newtons is less than 700 newtons so um the so the tension is not enough to lift student a okay and then let's look at um, student. Uh, let's look at part E. With the what minimum acceleration must student B climb up the rope to lift student A upward off the floor? Okay, so we're going to do these equations again. I'm going to have T for student B. T hundred minus six hundred is equal to M A, which is sixty A. This time I don't know what A is. Okay. 
now for student A, what I want is for him to just barely lifting the normal force is zero. It's like just the tension balances his weight. So I want T minus 700 to be zero or T equal to 700. So that then, then it would be just enough force to lift him up. So plugging that into here, 100 equals 60 times A. And so A would be 100 over 60 which is 5 over 3, which is 1.6 meters per second squared. Okay, and that completes that one. So I hope that made sense, setting up the free body diagrams and everything. So um, yeah, I will see you guys um, in the next, uh, next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.